Hi guys, so one of the core arguments made by Brexit supporters was that leaving the European Union would make Britain a more open and competitive economy. Well, a report by an organisation called the Resolution Foundation has found that the effect has been the opposite. The report in collaboration with the London School of Economics also points to an exacerbation of the cost of living crisis and a drop in business investment. The report describes a depreciation-driven inflation spike following Brexit. The analysis said Britain has experienced a decline of 8% in trade openness. This is trade as a portion of economic output. And this has been going down since 2019. The UK has been losing market share across three of its largest non-EU goods import markets in 2021, those being the US, Canada and Japan. While the full impact of the TCA will take years to show itself, those responsible for this report say that Britain is becoming more and more a closed economy, and this is making the UK less competitive, which will reduce productivity and real wages. i said before, Brexiteers wanted to create a European North Korea, and they seem to be achieving that. Labour productivity will be reduced by 1.3% by 2030 as a result of changes in trading rules alone. Contributing to weaker wage growth, in real terms this is a drop of £470 per worker each year on average. So businesses will be worse off and workers. However, not all sectors will feel the pain in the same way. The report says that the fishing industry, remember the one that Boris Johnson and Brexiteers pushed hard in 2020, it will see a 30% decline. The northeast of England, which has been promised a post-Brexit levelling up, is expected to be the hardest hit over the next decade as it's the most reliant on exports to the European Union. Sophie Hale, the principal economist at the Resolution Foundation, which compiled this report, said, and I quote, Brexit represents the biggest change to Britain's economic relationship with the rest of the world in half a century. This has led many to predict that it would cause a particularly big fall in exports to the EU and fundamentally reshape Britain's economy towards more manufacturing. The first of these has not come to pass, and the second looks unlikely to do so. Instead, Brexit has had a more diffuse impact by reducing the UK's competitiveness and openness to trade with a wider range of countries. This will ultimately reduce productivity and workers' real wages too. The only positive in the report is that the service sector will likely remain unaffected, but anyone producing physical goods for export is going to struggle. Hilary Benn, the Labour MP who is part of the UK Trade and Business Commission, commented on the report saying that the government's Brexit deal was making businesses and consumers poorer at a time when people up and down the country are struggling to make ends meet. He also said the report disproved excuses by the government that these are just teething problems, but Britain faces a long-term economic problem and he called on ministers to review the deal that was signed with the European Union. A government spokesperson responded to the news with typical misplaced enthusiasm saying, and I quote, Since we left the European Union, we have begun seizing new opportunities to improve UK regulation for businesses and consumers through plans to enhance competition and harness new technology. Sadly, I feel that Britain may need to go through some years of extreme economic pain before the public realised that Brexit was a mistake. They may also need to remove the architects of this mess and replace them with level-headed pragmatists. The attempts to ignore the problems Brexit has caused is adding to the cost of living crisis, so we can only hope that this will be a catalyst to get the Tories out and in someone who understands reality. Let me know in the comment section guys what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.